Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at re-entry with the computer tutorial. Now if I didn't know any better, I believe this tutorial is going to be concentrated around that really, really nice Apollo Guidance computer, and it's uh, kind of cousin the one that's over in the Lunar Lander there as well. Now what I love about this computer, and I've had played with this in other simulations before, is how it's not that complicated to use. Uh, once you understand how the programs work and what the displays mean, it's actually not bad given the age of the system that it really is. I actually have a simulator for this particular computer that exists on my phone, and it's kind of fun to like do really, really basic you know, math problems or do some kind of timing exercise or something along those lines. All right, let's do it. So let's see, and how to interact with it. Now, first of all, the AGC is a complicated digital, digital control computer used aboard the Apollo, and hey, I think I just said these things. For its computation, electronic interfaces for guidance, navigation, and control. Trust me, it'd be a lot harder without it. All right, it's used for most phases of the mission from launch to landing. The only time we don't use it, of course, is when we're doing rendezvous. So all right, so we got this thing all ready to rock. Uh, you can communicate using the numeric display, the disk key, or yeah, disk key, oh man. Ahead of myself today. Uh, located on the MDC2 in the lab. I think that's supposed to be located. Let's see here. Uh, the disk key has an array of buttons and lights in addition to the main display. All right, that's this guy right here. All right, let's see here. The AGC is controlled by verbs and nouns. They are entered numerically as two digit numbers. Well, let's see. The verb is the action, which makes sense. You know, like changing the mission program, monitoring data, changing data, etc. The noun is the location or register the verb is being performed. Uh, for example, if the flight crew wished to run major mode 11, the enter verb tree 7, which means run program, which means, <laughs> I keep getting ahead of them, I'm so sorry, I really love this computer. A uh, major mode in noun 11, which means to program 11. The AGC can run one major mode mission program at one time. These are major programs and is referred to as a two-digit number. The major mode currently in use is displayed by the program indicator on the display. The re-intro Apo re-entry Apollo flight manual has a complete overview of the nouns, verbs, and programs. By the way, for those of you who are curious, they're actually listed on the floor here, which is actually kind of convenient as well. All right, let me go back up to here and I'll go back to what we're doing here. Cool. Okay. A major mode can, for example, be used to prepare and execute a TLI, an SPS, monitor handle, setup, sent. Let's try to use a computer. First of all, move it to where you can see it. Huh, helpful. Uh, first, we'll press major mode one. So I'm going to press the verb command, which says, okay, this is my action. Now we're going to press three, seven, which means run program like we saw before. And we're going to press enter. And when you do three, seven, it's going to start flashing at us saying, hey, what about the, what do you want me to do three, seven to? So I'm going to press okay. Now I'm going to press zero. Now we're going to press one, which is master program number one. We press enter. So now it activates three, seven, and it arms program one. I'm going to press recall. And now the computer is running it as indicated by the uh, thing right here. Don't worry about no at, by the way. That'll come up later. The no at warning, <laughs> I'm so ahead of this today. Yeah, I love this computer. I'm sorry. Meaning that the IMU isn't providing attitude, so it's currently aligning itself. The FDAI uh, will rotate to the configured launch attitude in one complete. Uh, a program one will automatically change to program two. A convention is normally used when operating the computer. The above sequence 3701. This can be shortened to doing verb 37E uh, number 1E. This concludes the AGC lesson. We will go deeper into this when we start programming the in-flight tasks. Good job. You can end the mission doing uh, that one there. All right. There's one more thing I want to test, though, before I go loose here. Verb 37 enter. Okay, I'm trying to remember what the, uh, it's not what I thought it was. I'm just trying to remember what this one. Verb 37, enter, uh, display 88. I thought this was going to be the lamp. Oh, it's 3.5, not 37. I always get that backwards. Clear, 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 clear. It's going to give me an operator error. Verb 3.5, enter. There it goes. <laughs> I remembered. I should remember what number it was. All right, folks, uh, enjoy. Uh, next time, I think we're going to do a little bit more flying. Enjoy.